Let's consider the following situation. I am here on my Mac. I am connecting to a server. Server A. Server A is behind the firewall, but Server A does allow um, SSH connections which run to TCP port 22. Using my SSH client, I can now have some form of a command line interaction with the server. Now, I have a second server, server B, which is accessible from server A, but which is not allowed through the firewall. And let's assume that it is running some form of a web server on using the HTTPS protocol. What I can do is leverage my SSH connection and create what's known as a dynamic SSH tunnel that will first send the traffic on my local computer to TCP 1080, um, which then gets forwarded over to the server. And from that server, I make the request to server B. From the firewall's perspective, I'm only talking to server A, but because I'm able to tunnel this traffic over here using a protocol called SOX5, um, I can still interact with the server on the remote side as long as server A can reach that server. But note, DNS is still resolved client side. In other words, if server B does not have a DNS entry that's accessible to the Mac, I have to access it by IP address, otherwise it's not going to work. How do I do this? Pretty straightforward. I tell my Mac, create a dynamic SSH tunnel, have it listening on TCP port 1080 on my Mac, and log into the server on the other side with the credentials that you have. This window needs to stay open, you can minimize it, but you can't close it, because as soon as you close it, your tunnel goes away too. In my browser, I can now look for my proxy settings by searching for the proxy settings. And I verify that manual proxy configuration is checked and that in the host I have 127.0.0.1, which is local host, in other words, your own computer, set to SOX5 port 1080. From this point out, any pages I load um, in this browser will be loaded via my proxy. And to the server B on the other side, it will look as if the request is coming from server A. To the firewall, it's looking like the request is going to server A, but in reality, it's my Mac talking to server B.